Here I am back in my usual space, back from the Florida Keys. If you were wondering what I was up to, check out my other channel, Shining Times, link in the description for that. Videos of my adventures in the Keys will soon be up on that channel, uh, as well as other outdoorsy sort of stuff. Anyway, I'm back. So I have all my usual samples. I'm not holding the camera anymore in a makeshift sort of setup. I'm back. So this video is about cheap, fragrances that you could wear every day and still smell good. You don't have to spend a bunch of money <laughs> just to smell good. Um, and as always, all the fragrances I mentioned will be available in the Amazon associate links down in the description below. Now, I'm going to start with one of my just absolute favorites. I, I mention this quite a lot. This is Youth Do from Estee Lauder. Now, I got this for $30 because it was on sale. I think it's more like $40, but in general, the, the fragrances I'll be mentioning in this video are under a hundred dollars, most of them under 50. So again, this is 30 to 40. I love this. This is a, a I suppose it's considered a vintage style um, sort of fragrance. Super heavy. If you're not into spicy and musky scents, skip this one. If you do like those notes, this is absolutely for you. Uh, this is great. So it has cloves, cinnamon, I think there's some nutmeg thrown in there. Then you got some florals, you got some rose, lily of the valley, uh, then amber, balsamic notes, resins, um, stuff like that. So it's pretty heavy overall. However, it also has a very nice vanilla note to kind of smooth it out. Um, and it kind of becomes a little bit powdery as well, which I like because it, you know, it has that pretty heavy muskiness, but then it becomes a little bit more uh, kind of classically feminine with that powderiness. So this is very versatile if you like heavy, uh, intense types of fragrances. Um, and it lasts a long time. Uh, mainly because it has so many of those heavy notes, it's going to last at least eight hours, uh, probably longer. Now, this is more of a cold weather fragrance, primarily, you know, autumn, winter, uh, just because it's so warm and cozy, you want to wear that when it's pretty cold outside. If you wore this in the middle of winter, you're going to be a little bit overwhelmed. Um, it's also good as an evening fragrance, but overall this is a very classic feminine scent from the 1950s. Uh, and again, very affordable, reliable, uh, nice little bottle as well. Um, but yeah, I love this. I love wearing this when the, the weather gets cold. Uh, just a very kind of cozy yet elegant type of fragrance and uh, you know, since it's more of a vintage option, it's pretty unique in today's uh, fragrance market. Now going on, actually most of these are kind of older, but they hold up pretty well and again, they're pretty affordable. Um, ones I like, uh, as evidenced by this empty bottle, Obsession by Calvin Klein, classic 80s fragrance. Uh, kind of similar actually to Youth Do, but I would say more because Youth Do is more spicy, this is more musky and animalistic. Uh, now, this is a women's fragrance, however, um, it's easily unisex just because it's, again, super animalistic and super musky. This came out during a time when, you know, in the 80s, women's fragrances were more along those, those lines with the musk and everything. But yeah, definitely really delicious option if you like that animalistic musk. Uh, type of uh, fragrance. Plus, it's also super woodsy. It has several uh, wood notes. There's, you know, cedar, sandalwood, stuff like that. Um, so very kind of natural, rugged, uh, and just super warm. Uh, it also has a certain sweetness to it, and it it's also super strong. Very similar to Youth Do, minimum eight hours. I would actually say this lasts longer than Youth Do. This is probably up to 12 hours. It really sticks around. Uh, it also has a nice vanilla note that kind of sleeps, kind of crawls in. Um, yeah, again, if you like the, that sort of heavy uh, tone to it, you'll like this. Now the price, a little bit more expensive than used to. I would say it's between 40 and 50. Um, it, you know, depending on what size bottle you get, that sort of thing, the concentration. But again, still pretty affordable, around 50-ish dollars. Uh, and you get the whole bottle and it's gonna last you a long time because it's so intense, you know, you don't have to use too much. Now, going on to two from the same brand, they're both pretty old. I'm gonna say 
Emerald and Le Mans from Coty. Both of these from Coty. So Coty was a brand that was pretty popular in like the 1920s, 1930s, that sort of thing. Uh, it was actually very luxurious at the time. These days, these are considered drugstore fragrances, but they're still re really, really good. So, Emerald is actually the precursor to Shalimar, uh, you know, which is more well known. This is pretty much, it has all the same notes as Shalimar. Uh, it has an incense ambery, citrusy type of approach, but this is less intense than Shalimar. Um, you know, a little bit more, I suppose, diluted but it is still really nice if you like all those notes, but you want a more subtle approach to that smell um, and that sort of thing. Now, Le Mans, this is more of a powdery, a little bit ambery and floral type of fragrance. This is actually very similar to Chanel Number no. 5. This was actually made as a response to Chanel Number no. 5 in the 1920s. These are both 1920s fragrances, but, um, I love both of these. I think I got Emerald for $14. I think the price went up a little bit. It's probably more like $18 now. This is about $20. Now, the longevity on these are not super. I would say both are about four hours, which is pretty average. Um, however, the smell that they have is very uh, just attractive. If I had to pick one, I'd probably go for Le Mans, personally, just because I like its certain powderiness. Um, and it's kind of unique notes that it has, but they're both really good, really affordable, obviously. Um, and you know, I mean, you get these whole bottles for very, very cheap, so you're getting a, a pretty good deal. Now, the last one that I have is Taboo by Dana. So this is really, really strong. Ironically, this is an Eau de Clone. It's a clone meaning the perfume concentration is actually pretty low. It's supposed, you know, it's when the perfume concentration is low, it's usually pretty weak. This is not the case with this. Mainly because of the very, very intense notes that it has. Um, this is actually kind of similar to Shalimar, but even more sharp and intense and heavy. This is pure incense, pure musk, pure amber. Uh, just super strong. Sometimes it's even too much for me to wear, and I, even I like uh, musky perfumes in general, but this is pretty crazy uh, intense. It's definitely not for everyone, it's more of one of those niche types of fragrances. This I got for $20, so again, pretty affordable, super long-lasting. Uh, I would say, I mean, it just seems to stick around forever, because whenever I wear it, I put it on in the morning, I wear it all day, I go to bed, I wake up the next morning, I still smell this, so it just sticks around for ages. So <laughs> I'm just gonna put unlimited longevity. It lasts forever uh, until you scrub it off, but um, definitely, you know, be cautious when you put this on because it is very intense. It's kind of just like a bomb. Uh, but again, if you enjoy musky, incensey, spicy types of fragrances, this will absolutely do the trick, even more so than youth do, I would say. Um, and again, very affordable. But that is pretty much my list of uh, affordable uh, fragrances for everyday use. Um, I'll probably do one of these videos for men, actually, more for men's fragrances. But if you found this video helpful, uh, of course, you can leave a like, maybe subscribe. And I make videos throughout the week, so stick around for those.